Welcome to KLR, the Photo Guru YouTube channel. My name is KL Raja Singh. In this video, we are going to see about the set picture control option in Nikon cameras and picture style option in Canon cameras. What are these controls? What these controls can do for your images, especially the JPG images? You know very well, our digital cameras have got beautiful processors which will process the images as per our requirement. The selection of the picture control or the picture style is something to do with our requirement. For example, if you shoot a landscape picture, you normally expect your camera to process the landscape with good saturated colors and good contrast and sharpness. So this is possible when you are trying to set your camera to landscape mode so that the camera will do whatever you require for a landscape. Similarly, if you opt for a monochrome picture, I mean a black and white picture, your camera removes the color part or the color data or the color information, you get a picture only in black and white. So this is how the picture style and picture control actually works in your camera. When I go into the picture control options of Nikon D850, I see these following options from the picture control menu. The first one is auto marked as A and the second one is standard marked as SD. Third one is uh, neutral NL, vivid as VI monochrome as MC and portrait as PT, landscape as LS and flat as FL. So these are the controls available in Nikon cameras. Similar type of controls are also available with Canon cameras, particularly the 5D series. You can see that picture style option starts from auto marked as A, standard marked as S, portrait marked as P, landscape marked as L, fine detail marked as FD, and neutral marked as N, faithful marked as F and monochrome marked as M. Apart from this, there are also three other user-defined presets available in Canon. Irrespective of the cameras, the names are a little different, but the purpose of these controls are the same. Now let me go into these controls and uh, explain what will happen if you select automatic picture control or what will happen if you select uh, landscape and things like that. Because every time when you go into this control, you must know that what are the aspects that is going to be more and what are the aspects that is going to be less in your final processing effect. If you select automatic pictures control or picture style option, camera identifies the subject by itself where the colors are balanced well and contrast and sharpness and color tones etc. are balanced as per the judgment of the camera. And when you go for a standard picture style, this is getting the overall processing as per the standards of the respective brands or the cameras. The saturation, the contrast or the color tones and similar kind of controls are made to a standard so that this is applicable for general subjects. May it be for landscapes or for general scenes or weddings or anything for the matter. This could be a default setting also so that you are able to get an overall processing which matches with all kind of subjects. Well, now you select neutral picture style option or picture control option, your camera does not do great processing. So it is almost like a muted processing where the photographer can process the images according to their requirement through the post production softwares. When you select vivid in Nikon, the colors are more brilliant, it's, it's more vivid or it is more saturated and you can use this kind of picture style whenever the color is a major component of the particular scene or the subject. Next comes monochrome. You know monochrome is a black and white picture. So here the camera's processor removes the color details and it gives you only the black and white image where you have nothing but the shades of black, white and gray. Next comes is portrait. Whenever you're shooting people, you need the skin tone to be perfect. So your camera enhances the skin tone so that it gets more warmer. At the same time, the texture is removed and it shows very smooth and gentle. You can see that overall contrast is also perfectly balanced so that it looks great as a portrait image. Coming to the landscape, as I told you earlier, the camera enhances the color saturation because landscapes you need colors more brilliant and more vibrant. For any landscape picture or outdoor pictures, the sharpness is most important criteria and that has to be slightly more. And contrast also slightly more. Your camera controls the different parameters of an image so that you are able to get the color, contrast, saturation, color tone, etc. to match the property or the characteristics of the particular scene or the subject. Now coming to flat FL. 
It's something very interesting. In uh, Nikon cameras, they marked it as FL. When you select flat, the camera reduces the contrast to the maximum and you hardly find black and white in the scene. I have shot this picture style control with the various options for a portrait scene where my student is posing for this video. And you can see the collective comparison in the tiled image where the picture looks different for different kind of a selection. So this is mainly to take the overall control of the image processing, especially in the in-camera image processing, so that your final JPG images are coming out as per your requirement which matches with the subject nature. Well, apart from selecting this picture control or picture style option through the menu control, you can still fine tune the effect of the picture control by adding on more colors, contrast, sharpness and color tone or reducing this according to your requirement or according to your purpose. If you go into the Canon cameras, go to the picture style option and select a particular picture style and then press the info button, you will be able to get a list of controls that is available which you can increase or decrease. If you look into that, there is a color saturation option which can be increased or decreased and next comes the contrast and next comes the uh, color tone and also the sharpness. So if you want to override the processing effect of your camera based on the picture style option selected, you can still increase the contrast little more depending upon the uh, scene or the depending upon the requirement. For example, if you are shooting a landscape picture, maybe in an overcast day, where the contrast is not there, the bright sunlight is not there, the scene looks really boring. So when you want to enhance the contrast in the scene, when you want to enhance the saturation of the scene, you can do it by overriding the decision of the camera which has already been there in the landscape control. So let me go to the landscape control and then go press the info button or the display button in the Canon camera. So here, since this is an overcast scene, the landscape is not looking good, it looks very flat. I go into the contrast and increase the contrast a little bit. Similarly, I can also go to the saturation option and increase that little bit and fine tune the uh, final image processing through this control. This is purely based on your requirement and purely based on your taste or interest. So here in Nikon, you have a list of things that you can adjust after you select a particular picture control option. So you can see there is a sharpening which you can always alter, uh, there is a control called clarity and next to that is contrast, then you have brightness, saturation and there is also an option called hue in this camera. So photographer can adjust all these four or five uh, different kind of fine toning options which will override or which will add on to the processing aspect of the picture set control. Though the effect of this picture style control or picture control options are mainly used for JPG files, this can also be used as a reference even if you are shooting in RAW. For example, you wanted to see as how a black and white uh, picture will look like when you are shooting in RAW, it is better to go for a image quality selection as uh, RAW plus JPG where your camera will shoot and store a JPG file in black and white which will give you an idea as how you could get the final image from the RAW data. We have been discussing about the picture control option in Nikon cameras and picture style options in Canon cameras as how these controls can do something great especially in the in-camera processing. If you find this information useful, please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel Kayla the Photo Guru. Press the bell button for updates. I will catch up with you with similar videos in future. Take care.